What's up guys, um, Endex Airsoft back with another video. It has been a little bit of a while. Um, played at Bassett's Pole last weekend, so I have got some video footage from that I just need to edit. Uh, but I just had a delivery come today, which I thought I'd get on camera. Mmm, new toys. Oh. Let's have a little look what we've got. Um, but my reasoning behind this was um, I have got a Silverback SRS um, and I've got an MK23 as a secondary but I fancied something that had got like a little bit more firepower to it um, but was small so um, I was looking around for one of these I'm a little bit expensive to be fair for what they are so I kind of it kind of put me off and then I noticed that um, a company called uh, Combat South um, had, got, had got these on offer um, and they're literally kind of, you know, a hundred quid cheaper than everywhere else. And I was like, now is the time. Um, so what I've got, you can see it's a G&G &G box. Oh, flip this over. Oh. But it is the PRK9. Now, some people don't like this because it's not um, a real world uh, based firearm. It's kind of like, um, almost kind of like a super deformed kind of style. It's a 9mm um, miniature AK pistol. But, uh, um, I saw it and I was like, that is cool. Um, that is just uh, my invoice. Plus a nice uh, sticker there from Combat South. Um, that is the G and G catalog, so you can see what you're going to be spending your money on next. <laughs> uh, PRK instruction manual. So they do three different models. They do the small one, which is which is what I wanted. Uh, same kind of thing but with a stock added and then they do like a long boy. Uh, both of the ones with stocks have got folding stocks. Um, but like I didn't want a stock, I'm just going to put um, a sling mount uh, just directly on the back and just have it like hung by my side and then if anybody gets within the minimum engagement and distance I can just um, give them a quick blast with this and hopefully uh, force them into cover until I can reposition or or hit them and and move anyway probably. Uh, yeah, so that's the instruction manual, that's quite nice. Uh, I ordered um, an extra magazine because the one that comes with it, although it's quite cool because it's got the, 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 the dummy rounds in, unfortunately the dummy rounds must take up a lot of space inside that magazine because it's only 40 rounds which is like you know, for a gun with uh, for a gun with full auto, um, is not very good really. To be fair, I mean, you know, most sniper rifles are like thirty, so to get forty out of a a gun with full auto is not much at all. Um, so I've only ordered one of these, but I probably will pick up one or two more depending on on um, how it goes this weekend. Because I'm at Frontier Airsoft this weekend, so um, I'm going to take this with me. So this is their uh, their high cap. Obviously, it will rattle a bit, and it's got the old windy wheel. It's still quite cool because you can still see all the workings in there, which is like, which is quite nice. It's got the little windy wheel. Um, yeah. So that's actually um, that'll actually be that's two hundred rounds. That is. Uh, they also do a drum magazine as well, um, which I'm kind of umming and ahhing about. That's about eighty pounds, I think, and that's I think one thousand seven hundred and fifty rounds. Um, but that would be for if I used the gun kind of like on its own really, not as part of like a secondary. Um, I've got this uh, lovely empty bag, which I guess this has fell out of. I um, just hate these like orange tips. I've got an MTW as well and it comes with, came with one of those on it. It's like really horrible. I don't know why they do that in the States. But there we go, let's throw that to the side and uh, let's have a look at the main event. Wow, that is... Um, that is super heavy. 
um, compared to compared to what I was expecting. I didn't realise uh, how exactly how heavy that is. That is, Jesus, that is like a beast. Uh, that is all all uh, metal. That's metal. Metal. Um, that's obviously um, polymer. Um, but yeah, that is that is wow. That is much much heavier. Uh, than I thought it was going to be, but I'm more interested in the size, you know, because that's like, you know, that's a nice kind of, um, like in between, between like a like a like a pistol, um, and like, you know, like a, a slightly large like SMG, um, so it's kind of that kind of halfway house, but yeah, that's that's quite dinky, but that would just be like. Hanging down by my side, and I can just pull that out and give people a a blast. Uh, that's your fire selector there. It's got the little um, like Russiany style characters on the side. That is quite nice. Um, you adjust the hop up by just drawing this back, and it's got a little wheel inside there to adjust the hop and then uh, that just uh, flips up out the way um, it's got like a like a fixed post uh, front sight and then, and then an adjustable uh, rear sight I may take that off we shall see um, to be honest this is for kind of Closer range kind of stuff, really. Um, so uh, that's your mag release there, which is um, again like a steel. Uh, you can see where the mag goes in there. You've got your feed tube. Um, from what from what I've heard, the magazines are quite hard to get in because normally, like an AK one, you'll just kind of have it at this kind of angle like not not you won't need much of an angle to get it in where this one you have to tip it much far forward um, before it will lock in um, so that's like a bit different it's got quite a big like lip on there so yeah you have to come quite far forward and then and then drop in um, yeah um, and then you've got the the release there. Just push, sorry, push it away, but not towards. Oh. Um, doing things upside down. Yeah. So you can see there, I've got the angle wrong then. Yeah. So I think I'll get used to it. To be fair, like it's you know, it's like it'll take a little bit of um, getting the right angle, but. Yeah, I can't. I can't think it's too much of a problem when I've like, you know, when I've had like a couple of games with it. It'll just be be second nature. As I say, I'll just need a couple more mags because I, I don't really want to be like mucking about with speed loaders and you know having sixty five of those. Um, yeah, and then you can see on the back, it's got the um, the Picatinny um, piece on the back. My pl my plan is. Um, Put like um, uh, like a sling mount on the back of there, um, rather than having a, a stock. The stock does does fold that's on there, but I'm I'm not bothered about using it as a primary. So um, I'm just going to have like a like a little uh, sling mount on there. Uh, what I've got to have a look at is whether any of my batteries actually fit, because when you lift this up. Uh, it is a Dean's connector. I have got um, some small uh, tri-cell nunchucks um, with a Dean's, or I think I've only got one. So that may last me a whole game day due to it just being a secondary, but I'd still like a backup battery ideally, so I might have to change one of my 
Tamiya's to a Dean's just so I've got um, an option. Uh, what I think I'll do is I'll just grab a battery and just take a look at um, whether the one I've got actually fits in. Right, I've just picked and got my uh, batteries. So these are some of the smaller cells I've got. That one's got a Tamiya on it. Uh, that's the life battery for the lads Scorpion Evo. This is what I wanted to try. You can admire the quality of my soldering on this. Um, so yeah, I soldered that with a spoon, I think. Um, so yeah, let me just um, let me just pop this on and see whether I can actually get the battery to fit in this, or whether I need to go and spend money on batteries, which I don't really want to do. I've got loads sitting about. Let me just have a look. Right, so if I put those in there. Should be popping somewhere to get some batteries, or will I? Don't really want to force that. I don't know whether I can get it any smaller than it is. No, I think I'm going to need some air. Uh, a change of plan on that. It's quite loud. <laughs> I think I might give my position away when I when I fire this off. But <laughs> the idea is lay down a bit of um, suppressing fire and and move out. But yes, I think I'll have to have a little bit of a change of plan on the batteries because I don't think I've got anything else that's um, that, that's suitable really. But um, yeah, you can see where it goes anyway. Uh, just like latches in at the back. There's like a little button there. Uh, locks, locks in the top cover. Um, but yeah, very nice. And um, I got um, free delivery next day from Combat South, uh, which was very good service. Um, I had an email off Russ in the morning just to say it was all sorted and gone through and it would be out that day. Um, I ordered it like last thing on Sunday night, so that was um, like fantastic. So I ordered on the Sunday. Uh, got on the Tuesday lunchtime. Um, there was um, a five percent discount code on it as well, which was have five um, H A V E and then a number five, uh, which got me additional additional money off what I bought. So free delivery, money off. They were a good hundred quid cheaper than everybody else anyway. So uh, I'm really really chuffed with that, and I can't wait to. Um, uh, take that out to Frontier on Sunday and um, give it a go. So um, yeah, I'll just have to um, sort out some batteries now. There you go then guys, anyway, that's just a quick video for you. Hopefully I have some footage as well um, at some point soon and I've got Frontier game on Sunday so I'll hopefully get some footage of that um, out as well. But that is my new toy. Um, don't know how I'm going to tell the wife because she doesn't know yet. Uh, that's been sitting in my car since uh, yesterday afternoon. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't see this video. Bye. <laughs>